is Flyco, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm just gonna jump right into my Christmas wish list, which you can use obviously also as a gift guide for anybody in your life that might like any of these things, but I'm just gonna get right on into it. I have my list on my work phone, so I'm just gonna read it off up here so I don't miss anything, and we're just gonna jump right on into it. So the first thing are Apple AirPods, which I think a lot of people are gonna be asking for this year. They are pretty expensive. Last I saw, I think they were like $1.99 for, I'm not sure if they were the newer ones or the older ones, um, but that was also on Black Friday, so they might've been on sale. But I really want the Apple AirPods. I just think it would be really convenient to just have them in my ears or even just like one when you have to take calls. And also when I'm editing my videos on my iPad, it would just be nice not to to have to mess around with the cord. A lot of times I'm in bed while I'm editing and I just don't want the cord there. And the next thing is a weighted blanket and I have wanted a weighted blanket for, I feel like it's been a couple years. Have they been out that long? I feel like it's definitely been a couple years that I've wanted a weighted blanket. They're supposed to be really good just for calming you and for anxiety and I do struggle with anxiety quite a bit and I just think it would be nice to try it out, see if it's all that it's been made out to be or if it's overhyped and I just, on. <laughs> I also really want an oil diffuser and the essential oils to go with it. Obviously I need the oils to be able to use the diffuser. I just really love the idea of not having to light a candle. Obviously I have one in the background here so I do love candles especially the ones from Bath and Body Works. You don't always want to light a candle or maybe I don't want to burn them you know, super quickly. So it'd be nice to sometimes have the option of using a diffuser. And essential oils are supposed to have all these like crazy health benefits. So I kind of want to see if that's also all it's cracked up to be or if it's overhyped. So this one's really expensive <laughs> and I'm probably not going to get it. I'm definitely, I don't think anybody's going to get it for me, but it's a wish list, right? So it's things that like I wish for. And I would love to have a Roomba or something like it. It doesn't have to be the brand Roomba, but just like a robotic vacuum. It would be so nice to be able to just set it to run like once a day while we're not even home and just you know clean up you know cat hair and whatever so yeah I think that would be super nice to have if you have one let me know in the comments below what you think of it next on my list are just some nice or you know cozy winter boots it's crazy that I live in Rhode Island and I don't have a single pair of winter boots and I haven't for a couple of years so it would be nice to have some especially for during the work week when it snows and I have to like walk through the snow and like the bottom of your pants get all like icky it would be nice to have some winter boots <laughs> I also really want a lighted makeup mirror I don't have one I usually just do my makeup standing up at our full-length mirror it's also like the door to our closet and do my makeup over there there's not great lighting I mean I make do with it it's fine but if I ever wanted to post more videos is doing makeup I think I would need one and I could do it right at this desk it would be a great you know little setup but I don't have one and I would like one I also really want some reusable straws this if I don't get it for Christmas I'm just gonna buy for myself I really want I don't know the name of the brand but I'll definitely um, link it below I'll try to link everything that I'm talking about below if I can remember there are these like travel straws that I saw on Amazon one time they come in like a cute little thing you can like put right on your keychains I would love that Any reusable straws I really want to get away from using yeah these this is Duncan love my Duncan I also really want I need to stop saying I also really want because I really want everything because it's my wishes but an insulated wine glass this is like the epitome of a wish list because I definitely don't need an insulated wine glass but I want one and I think they're super cute I like the idea of it keeping your wine cool obviously not really an issue during the winter although actually it would still be kind of helpful because during like game nights even ones where it's just my husband and I and we're just home at the dining room table playing a game a lot of times we'll have a glass of wine I don't chug wine you like you know you sip your wine while you're playing your game and sometimes it does get a little warm so it would be nice to have an insulated wine glass this next thing I ask for pretty much every year and it's been that way for a few years probably longer than that quite a, a long time it's the aromatherapy sleep line from bath and body works and it's the lavender vanilla version they just came out with a new version of it it's different scents and i don't want that one it smells okay but the lavender vanilla one is just it smells so good you guys if you haven't smelled it please go smell it and it really does help calm me down and relax me at night and i want the body wash the lotion the sleep spray and the body scrub i want the whole line and i do really love it and 
when I do have it. I don't have it anymore. My husband bought me some last year, but I just ran out. When I do have the whole set, you know, when I shower, obviously I use the body wash and the body scrub and then I come out and use the body cream and then I mist, you know, our bed and our bedding and my pillow with the spray and it's just, it's amazing. Oh, and also the candle. If you don't, I'm really excited about this aromatherapy line. I really do love it. I really need a new pink sugar perfume. It's a perfume that I've been using for years. It's a really sweet perfume that honestly kind of smells like it's like vanilla and cotton candy. It's kind of my signature scent and that I, people expect me to smell that way. I've had friends tell me that if they smell it on somebody else they like look for me because they just associate the smell with me and been wearing it for so long. I love it so so much. Obviously if you don't like sugary uh, or like sweet perfumes you're not gonna like this one but I love it. And then the next two things are subscription boxes. So one is a munch pack, which I've done two unboxings on my channel already. And I really do enjoy that box. I think it's super fun to try snacks from around the world, but I canceled the subscription just for the holidays so I could save some money so I can buy presents for other people. So it would be nice if somebody got me a box or two from munch pack. And then the next one is earth box which is another subscription like snack box. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I really want to try it. I've wanted to try it for a while because it is, um, it's supposed to be like all natural. I think it's non-GMO. I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely based on being like organic and they have a vegan option, which is the option that I would want. I'm not vegan, but I have been eating vegetarian for over a month now. So it would be nice it would actually, actually honestly it would be fantastic if I could have a box, a subscription box, to try out where I don't have to worry about like, oh, can I eat this? Do I have to check the ingredients? Whereas with the Munch Pack, love that box, but there were a couple of things in the most recent unboxing that I did that I couldn't have because they weren't vegetarian. They had gelatin in them, and one of like the chips had turkey like powder on them, not vegetarian. So that's why I really want to try out the Earth Box. If you've ever tried the Earth Box, please let me know in the comments what you thought about it. The last like official thing I have on my list is just cozy slippers. I I love slippers so much, you guys. Well, I was gonna say it's weird, but I don't think it's that weird. I don't like walking around barefoot. I never have. I just, I hate the feeling of it for some reason. So I love my slippers and I love my cozy slippers. I really love moccasins. I haven't had them in kind of a while. I think it's about a couple years. My mom bought me a pair of moccasins a couple years ago and I love them. So I would either want some moccasins or just those like cozy clogs. Either of those are really comfy or just anything. If you're a family member or friend that's watching and wondering what to get me, just anything that's like fuzzy and cozy and either a moccasin or something that's easy to slip on. So that's it for like my official wish list but if you're looking for ideas and what to get me or the person in your life that's you know kind of quick and easy I would say gift cards. I don't think there's anything wrong with gift cards. I know people feel or some people feel strongly about not giving gift cards because they're not thoughtful but I think there are instances where you're still being thoughtful and really helpful. I think good examples would be you know like a Sephora gift card or any makeup store that the woman in your life enjoys going to. I think that's a really thoughtful gift because you're recognizing like, oh, she really enjoys beauty products and makeup or whatever, but you don't know exactly the products she wants or maybe she doesn't want the same thing she's been using, which would be my case. I would love a Sephora gift card so I can go in and like try new things and like buy something that maybe I wouldn't have wanted to spend my own money on. I think we tend to repurchase the things we're already comfortable with with our own money, but we can be a little more adventurous when we're like, oh, like it's gift card money. It's fine. And then also, if anybody wants to give me a Dunkin' Donuts gift card, I am game for that. Starbucks too, but I'm definitely a Duncan girl. Candles are a great idea for me and again anybody in your life if you know they like candles obviously. <laughs> but I think that is really everything that I can think of for my wish list. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what you are hoping to get this year for Christmas. I'm planning on doing at least one other gift guide that's not you know, my wish list, but I really think I'm gonna do one for like the men in your life and just kind of talk to my husband and what I think I would get, you know, the men in my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you all get what you want for Christmas and I will see you in the next video.